parade begins with the High Horses banner because this is the High Horses Center for Equine Assisted Services, which is located in Sharon, Vermont. They help organize this fabulous Wassel uh, holiday parade each year. Their banner today is carried by a group of dedicated staff, volunteers, and clients, and they are wishing you all the brightest and brightest of holidays. Woohoo! Uh, 57, we have Logan Medin Medinsky. Logan Medinsky and Unnecessary Rudeness. Aurora Christmas with a Christmas sweater and horse with Christmas wreath and bells. And I think we missed somebody. Now we have Bring Us Some Figgy Pudding, our winner. One of our winners. Uh, our Winner of Bring Us Some Figgy Pudding, Best Individual Horse and Rider. Woohoo! That's not okay. Well, when Bring Us Some Figgy Pudding comes, they won that category. They already went by. They already went by. This is hopeless. Okay. Who is. What's this? This is this the Tracy and Johnson? Is woohoo! Here we have another winner. We have winner of which category? No, nope, that's not it. Winner, the Tracy and Johnson team is the winner of the best group, and here we have them: Tracy and Johnson of Barnard, Vermont. The draft do. Uh, Colonel and Major, and the brothers, ages 23, 22, and 20. Today they are pulling a festive wagon of family and friends, celebrating the holiday season. And during the summer of months, these guys do a fabulous job doing pony pulling competitions all around the state. Great to have you guys. Happy, happy, and congratulations on winning best group. Oh yeah, and who's next? So. Who's next? We have. Is it 55? Is it what? Hey, we have another winner. This is Highland Farms. 
Jen is driving her Belgians, Bert and Charlie, with Mike Bartlett. Taylor Wyman, Haley Dow, Channa Howie, and Cheryl Reed as passengers are dressed in the holiday spirit. And they are the winners of the hall. Oh, they have the coveted Judges Award. Can and this is sort of spotty. Congratulations, Highland Farms. Woohoo! Congratulations. Okay, so who do we have next? Okay, next we have a winner. We have a pair of Dutch cross horses hitched to a wagonette. Is that correct? We have a pair of Dutch harness cross horses, Dylan and Hank, to what we call a wagonette. Tim is accompanied on the camera by Sharon and friends John and Lynn Bevgay, and they are the winners of the best horse-drawn vehicle. Oh, -ho! and next we have the Cavalry, the first Vermont Company T. The first Vermont Cavalry reenactment group consists of horses and history enthusiasts who work together to promote and preserve Vermont's Civil War history. Thank you, everyone. And they are headed in the wrong direction. Oh, and now they're going to show us how good they are. Look at this. Watch them turn. Oh, well done, General. Well done, everyone. Okay, now we have Elliot Bede, who is a winner, I think, of the junior competition. Is that correct? Here is Elliot and his noble mini Weeman. Is that right? Did... Elliot has won, yes, best junior. Best junior entry. Thank you, Elliot, for joining us again. Okay, we have a little bit of a pause. A Don't iPhone. go away. There's a lost iPhone down by the memory tree. There's a lost iPhone down by the memory tree. So it's found. It's brown? Found. Oh, it's found. A found iPhone is down by the memory tree, and it's brown because it's been in the mud, I'm sure. There you go. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay, coming round. Coming round, we have entry number 64, Happy Holobrays. The participants, volunteers, and donkeys of the nonprofit Road to Independence are excited to join in this year's Wassel Parade. Our donkeys, Pepper, Pimpernel, and Nutmeg, are costumed in pack saddle, basket saddle, and festively decorated for the holidays. Welcome, everybody. It's good to have you. Thank you. Okay, we seem to, I'm shifting, shifting mics here. So now we have Bert, do we have the dogs? Are the dogs with us? Burners and Bells, these four Burmese mountain dogs are handled by Buffy Bell, Celeste O'Malley, and Lori Brown. 
Brooke, Rain, Portia, and Reiki are pulling their decorated carts with bells and the milk jugs that they are known to haul from the mountains to the villages of Switzerland. 61 is first, I'm so sorry. Okay, next we have Country Crispin Cowgirls. Here they are, the Country Christmas Cowgirls. Holly Sari and her granddaughter, Brooke Waterhouse, driving Moonshine's Lil Candy along with Kathy Mercurio, driving her miniature horse, Celeste the Rockstar. And they are all decorated out to celebrate Christmas in a true old fashioned cowgirl style. We have so many cowgirls here in Vermont. Up oh, and here is Billings Farm. Woo, Father Christmas, somewhere on here. Okay, the Billings Farm and Museum Wagon is being pulled by the Percheron draft horses, Luke and Lonnie. They have lived at Billings Farm since the fall of 2019. Their brothers and their 11 years old. Maybe they'll do some pictures with other 11 year olds. Originally from Ohio and they both love cookies. The, the team is driven by Phil Warren and the passengers include members of the Billings Farm team along with a very special guest from the North Pole. Woohoo! It seems to be Father Christmas making an appearance here in Woodstock. And please remember to stay off the road. They're coming around a second time. Okay. Antoinette, no, they're, you're, not. No. they're not coming around no. a second time. Stay out of the road. And we have the fabulous youth hockey pooper scoopers who are who are doing their dirtiest work but most appreciated work of the season although winning a few games would help too <laughs> poopers scoopers extraordinaire